Hey sellers, so you've listed your home and you're getting ready for showings. Do you want to know what people are looking at? I mean, what they're really looking at when they walk through your house? Well, I'm going to give you five tips today to help your home make a good impression. I'm Liz McCune, a realtor on the C4 real estate team with Coldwell Banker in Farmington, Utah. And today, if you want to subscribe to our channel, click the like button because you're going to love this video. First, let's talk about baseboards. When your baseboards are clean and bright, we really don't notice them. But when those same baseboards are nicked up, scuffed, when they're dusty, or worse, when they're stained with the red Kool-Aid the kids spilled last week, those things stick out like a sore thumb. So tip number one, take a duster, even a couple of Clorox wipes to them. You'd be surprised at what those few minutes of wiping will do. Second, and along the same lines as the baseboards, are your doors. Now I'm thinking specifically about that area around the doorknob. You know what I'm talking about, that area that we all kind of grab for that last second to close the door or push it shut. Have you looked at that lately? Yuck. Luckily for us, that same little duster or Clorox wipes and a little bit of elbow grease will make a huge difference. Third, ceiling fans and light fixtures. We move through our homes so quickly and so often that we rarely are looking up. But I'm telling you, buyers do. And the last thing they wanna see when those lights flip on are the layers of dust and the little cobwebs floating around. So again, a little elbow grease, take, those, um, take that duster to the light fixture, the fan blades, you'd be surprised at how quickly that room will shine. Fourth, since we're already talking about light, let's talk about those windows. You've got to dust the windowsill. Dust behind it, give the window a quick wash, get rid of those little water spots, let the light shine in. It will totally improve the whole view of the room. Now, fifth and last, your carpet. If your carpet's seen better days and you really don't want to replace it, consider having it cleaned. Carpet cleaning a little too much? Okay. A few minutes just before the showing, and run a vacuum over it or a carpet rake. We just wanna give it a little fluff, a little bit of life, and that might just be all you need. There you have it. Five quick fix-it tips that you can do today to help your home make a good impression on even the pickiest of buyers. Remember, subscribe to our channel today. You can continue to get this helpful information on buying, selling your home in Utah, and anything else. We'd love to help, so give us a call, text, or email us with any questions you have. I'm Liz McCune, a realtor on the C4 real estate team with Coldwell Banker in Farmington, Utah. Subscribe to our channel today. Cut that out, will you? <laughs>